It's Feedback Friday and this is Mr Ford with this week a video message for parents, guardians and students. First of all, a big thank you to all those boys who have been consistently engaging with work that I've been setting and have been handing in their work. And I'm grateful also for all emails from parents and boys uh, asking questions and expressing support. I do need to answer some of those still. And I hope I can go some way towards doing so with this video. I want to show you some data and I want to explain a few things as well in this video. Now this was the first task I set on the 23rd of March. 75% uh, of boys did it. Next one 72, 75 and then we have 61, 39, 38, 35, 27, 24, 16 you get the impression. Last week was a bit higher again, 28%, 25, 25, but then for the composition tasks, only 8%. Now that could be because there were problems with using the computer program Songmaker. The other tasks were musictheory.net uh, exercises, but that's precisely why I want to explain a few things. Let's uh, look, for example, at the work that I'm setting today. I should have done it two days ago, but here we are now. This work is for the next one and a half weeks, and it's about two hours worth and should be done in two sessions. For the first 30 minutes, I want boys to do a back to basics listening and theory skills workout. So we press on that link there. And this comes up. It's uh, my own website, uh, incidentally, I mean. So. Notation, treble clef, these are basic skills that all the boys should have. Uh, first of all, click on that link there. And this comes up. This is on the musictheory.net website. Some boys have been telling me that a page comes up saying they have to buy an app. That simply shouldn't be happening. And if there's a problem, then you can click with the right mouse uh, button on here and then open link in new tab or in new window or even save link as, copy link address, whatever, so that boys can then paste it in the uh, in the top of this, uh, the screen where you put the web address. Let's try that copy link address. Open a new window. Paste the address. And then... This will come up and then the boys can do the exercise. I don't need to explain how to do that for now. Now, each of these uh, tests here have 10 questions. And at the end of that, all that should take, well, less than one minute each. There's recap. And I've been asking the boys to put their surname in there. Some boys still put their first name first. I've explained it for three or four weeks now. And their first name there. Anyway, and then they click on the test do it and then record the percentage in that box there. Now I've designed the, te the way the test works so that always they get 10 answers right by the end of it. But if they make one mistake then they get 10 out of 11. If they get two mistakes then it's 10 out of 12. I want them to write in the 91 there or whatever percentage it happens to be. Not the score. And that in this box here, 9, 1. No percentage sign, please. It, uh, I have to delete them all if I'm going through the results, if there are percentage signs, and it just takes time. Anyway, there are three tests there in recap 1. Then there's a second set of 10 short tests, and recap 2, again, surname, first name, and then the results there. And then there is a third set of 10, where they do the the practice questions and then recap three surname first name and the three results there all of that should take about half an hour and at the end they just click on submit and all the results come to me yes there's a submit at the end of each uh, um, each survey there right now something else which was relevant for the last two homeworks but isn't relevant for this particular homework except that of course if boys haven't done these tasks I'd like them to go back and do them. Uh, the link for this incidentally was on the show my homework task. This page will come up on my website and they click on that link there and this 
would come up. I would press play. Right, and the idea was that they would do their work, you know, whatever it would have to be. That's not the work, but uh, I'm just giving a silly example. And at the end, they would have to press save. Then this comes up and it says copy the link. And I've asked them two weeks in a row to press copy link. And then to go back to this page where it says copy and paste the link for your work from the song maker, a number of boys gave me the link for the original file. Another boy uh, or two gave me the link for the whole website. Anyway, press on there and then just paste the link that they've just copied. Now, it may be that there are really some other problems that I don't know about, in which case uh, I don't know how to solve them. But I'm so sure that many boys are just not following the instructions properly. Please, parents, guardians, could you ask them and check if they've done it right? Boys, you yourselves, be honest, have you followed that procedure? One boy pasted a YouTube video in there. In fact, it was my YouTube video. Um, very little point in that, of course. Right. And I'd now like to take you all through the way in which I've been presenting these lessons over the past weeks. There's the title. I will uh, mention that uh, this Year 8 online lesson is the homework or the work is to be submitted by Wednesday the 1st of July. As I said before, that's in one and a half weeks' time. And we'll look at the lesson objective. So... That's to notate music using either MuseScore. I know some of you haven't got it, so that's why I've invented an alternative, and that's to do the same work on Excel. I will show the boys, of course, how to do that. Then, complete a Back to Basics listening and theory skills workout and the survey to send me the results. I've explained all that already. Then, boys are going to input notes in MuseScore or on Excel. And the piece, as the last few weeks, is Stitches by Sean Mendes, and we're going to work at the melody, the chords, and the bass line. Now, that may well take up most of the one and a half hours that I'm going to allow in the next one and a half weeks for doing this. Uh, but there is a second part to all this, and that is to begin the, uh, an own composition, which then the next two weeks will be occupied with. And finally, uh, boys should send me uh, MuseScore Excel work, uh, musical or Excel work via email. That's m.ford at johnfisherschool.org. That's on show my homework as well, by the way. And then I've been asking boys to spend a minute or two writing down ideas um, with the questions, ask yourself, do I remember how to use MuseScore? If I was able to download it last time. What did I do recently with Songmaker? writing out the melody and the chords. Do I remember how to read notes on a stave? And then, as I'm now going to say, boys should pause the video, go and ask, uh, write down a few notes about those questions, and then come back. Right, we're going to start off with the melody. Let me just show again on Show My Homework. It says, then use either the two MuseScore files attached below, if you have MuseScore, or the Excel file attached below, and this song maker link. There it is. So the files attached below are here. There are the two MuseScore ones and there is the um, Excel. Um, I'll show you now the MuseScore files. The first of which is the exercise for today, the second of which is for the composition, which boys can start to, uh, this week uh, but will finish off before the end of term. Right, this comes up and I want boys to look at the melody. So here we are. Now, I've put the letter names under the notes, but they're the wrong notes. But it's very simple. All they have to do is press the letter names, and then they'll get the right notes. So, um, I've clicked on that note, and it's gone blue. And I always just simply press A, G, E. A, G, E. Right. I'll now press the escape button on the computer here so that I can then click on the next note, uh, which is a different note value. If you don't understand that, it doesn't matter, but you can see that those look different from that. So then I press DE. I'm going to press Escape again. 
And then I'm going to go here, DE. Um, press the arrow key. Ah, there we go. I'm going to press escape again. DE. Press escape again. Click on that note. DE. Press escape again. And then it's DCD. And then I'm going to press escape. And then I'm going to press C. Now I'll go back a tiny bit. And if I forget to press escape and just go D, C, D, C, well, something else will happen. But then you can always press Control Z for undo, uh, as you would normally on any other uh, computer application. And then escape, and then click on the note, and then press the note name. Right, I'm going to go back to the starting point now for those boys who don't have MuseScore. And I still want you to be engaging with the thought, how do I notate this? Even if on Excel you can't hear the notes being played back. The notes you want are A, G, E, and then A, G, E again. Right, when you click on the link to the Excel document, this will come up. And I want you to click on the tab down there which says Melody. I'm simply going to show you how to do this. You click there and press A. No, we want caps lock. There we go, A. Then there, that's the line that's G. Then the next note was E. And then there were those three notes again. By the way, if the boys did the uh, tasks the last couple of weeks, that this will be already somewhat familiar to them. And then it's A, G, E, D, E. D, E. E. So we've got A G E A G E D E. I'll just show that again. A G E A G E D E. Right. I'm going to stop this video now and make another one for the boys themselves to watch. Uh, the link will be on Show My Homework. I hope this video has been useful and has answered some questions. I'm hoping that boys who haven't done the last two weeks' work will go back and do it before they do this week's work. But I want all to rise to the challenge between now and the end of term of writing out the different parts of the song as I have begun to show and will show more fully in the next video. And, after all that is done, making up their own song, either on MuseScore or on SongMaker with the SongMaker program. I'd like to thank all Year 8 boys for their engagement with Key Stage 3 music over the last two years. And whether you're carrying on with music GCSE or not, I wish you all the best with your GCSEs. Maybe some of you might be thinking that you'll change to music after all. We'd be very pleased if you did. And one can always ask if that's possible. But perhaps some of you might like to take up an instrument or even singing. Do get in touch. All the best. Thank you and goodbye.